Tonight I'm going to be making some peppered popcorn and we're going to use bacon grease to make it. Um, we just have a pan, a fairly good sized pan. You need a lid. You need a bag. We like the yellow popcorn. Uh, this is just the Great Value brand, but I like the yellow better than the white. Um, some pepper and again, bacon grease. And this is just literally, we fried up some bacon and put it in the bowl. So what I usually do, I got my pan on high right now. It's on eight actually. But uh, I'm just going to take a couple scoops of this bacon grease, like a couple, couple spoonfuls, like that. That might be enough right there. You really want it to coat the bottom of the pan and to where it's, I don't know, just, just covering the bottom of the pan pretty good. And uh, you want to get it good and melted, and you also want it to get a little hot. You don't want it to be like just melted. You actually want it to, to be uh, a little bubbly. So um, that's what I'm going to do is just get it melted. Yeah, so one spoonful, this is going to be enough. So I won't need any more. So I'm going to let this melt and heat up because you really want it to get heat up to where I usually drop a piece of, a drop of water in there when it starts bubbling and you know it's hot enough. Okay, you can hear it pop a little bit. I just put a little bit of a drop of water in there and it started sizzling. So now I'm going to take, and you could put a little bit more bacon grease if you wanted to. You don't have to. That's enough. So now I'm just going to put my popcorn in there and sure it basically makes a single layer on the bottom. And then I'm literally going to take pop pepper and just sprinkle it all in there. And don't be, a, I mean, you don't want too much, but, but you want it to be, you want to be able to see it in there. So you can see it's in there. Now don't shake it anymore right now, because if you do, um, all the pepper will kind of go to the center, cover it up. And when it starts actually popping, then we'll start shaking it up. And you want a bowl. We've had this bowl. It's a Halloween bowl. We've had this bowl for, gosh, 20 years probably. We bought it at Walmart for literally a dollar or two. It wasn't much at all. It was for Halloween, you know, put candy in. We use it for popcorn. We've cooked in it. So uh, so it's been used forever. Um, you might want a couple of pot holders. Oh, there's a pot. You'll hear it start popping. And the only reason I'm getting pot holders is sometimes the lid gets hot. So, uh, see, so you don't want... You don't want to put your hand on the super hot lid. Um, if you put too much popcorn in there, what happens is you'll have to dump out some of the popcorn uh, while the bottom's still popping, which is kind of a pain. I've done it before. I've had it so full to where it's pushing the lid up. But uh, you want to try to avoid doing that if you can help it. So I'm just going to let this keep uh, you know, popping. I love clear lids. But I'm going to let it pop just every once in a while. Just give it a little shake to keep it from burning. And uh, that's it. Okay, it's gotten down to where it's popping just every few seconds. So I'm going to dump it in here, but be careful because there's still grease in there. And what I use to do, it's kind of scooted around a little bit. It doesn't look like a whole lot of kernels, so I think I'm all right. And you might get a little, few little black faces here and there, but that's okay. There we go. And I usually take some salt, if I didn't get out, but I'll take some salt. Ah, salt. And sprinkle it around. So that's it. That's my popcorn. You'd probably like for me to taste it, see what it tastes like. See if I got enough pepper in there. Um, you can also see, this was a requested video, by the way. I keep forgetting to mention that. Um, this does not have as much pepper as I sometimes put on it, but you can see some pepper on some of the pieces um, are covered better than others. When you get down to the bottom, they'll be really covered. Um, but, it's good popcorn. I don't know if I've ever bought the Great Value popcorn before. It's pretty good. Um, my only complaint is it has some holes in it, but that's most popcorn anyway. Pretty good. If you want more pepper, you can always sprinkle some more pepper if you want it spicier or hotter. Sometimes I've made it so hot where we couldn't hardly eat it. So now I'm a little more conservative. So if you want more, you can always add more. 